This week, I want to talk about fighting. No, not the kind of fighting in a ring or the kind of fighting you might do with your kids. I'm talking about the kind of fights that you have in life in general. You might be fighting for your health. You might be fighting uh, for your relationship or your finances. Or you might be in a different fight of some kind. Let me tell you, the Bible is full of examples of people who fought, ex both good and bad examples. But God gives us the example, and of course, we want to take the good example. This week, we're going to look at a fight that a king in the Old Testament fought, King Jehoshaphat. In fact, he got some really bad news when he heard that three nations and their armies had banded together to come down and destroy his kingdom and kill every last one of them. So instead of fretting and instead of trying to figure out how he was going to get through this, he decided that the nation should pray and that they should fast. Boy, wouldn't that be a great thing for our nation to do? We've already had several prayers that have gone out, day of prayers and fasting, and I'd like to continue that. We pray for our nation every day, and I know you do too. And, uh, and the king chose to do this, and boy, did God ever answer his, uh, his prayers. This week, uh, the title of my sermon is Finding Faith in the Fight. And there are seven ways you can do this. Let me share the fifth way with you, and then you can watch Sunday and get the other six. The fifth way is this. Jehoshaphat decided to turn to the Lord and find strength in him. He looked to the Lord to find his strength. And that was key for his success. Let me tell you, uh, let me show you a verse. Verse 12, for we have no power against this great multitude that is coming against us, nor do we know what to do, but our eyes are upon you. His success was where he looked. You see, if you look at your problem, it only gets bigger or, and worse usually. But if you'll look to the Lord for your answers, he's there. He's right there next to you. Look to him. Keep your eyes on him as you go through this, uh, this challenging time we're having right now with this virus spreading. Go to him for, the, for your peace. Go to him for your strength. And you'll find it there every single time. I hope you'll join us this Sunday uh, with the, the sermon. It starts at 9 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. You can watch us by going to our webpage. Also, I would encourage you to find us on Facebook, Restored for Life on Facebook. Like us, and then you can be a part of the conversation and find encouragement on a daily basis. Please know that your church is praying for you, that we love you. Have a great week. God bless.